Hey everyone, so in today's video we are going to be talking about the absolute best and the worst affordable cream blushes out there. For those of you who may be new to my channel, guys, I love cream blush so much. I have a ton of experience with it. In this little bag, we have 10 different affordable blushes and I have found some hidden gems at an affordable price tag and I am I'm pretty proud of myself. Definitely a lot to go through though today, so let's just jump right into it. Okay, so let's start off with this new release from Milani, the Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush. When I had originally posted within my community tab asking you guys which ones you wanted me to try, I got a ton of requests to try this one out. The Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush retails for $9.99. You get 0.37 ounces in here, which is actually not bad. Definitely a good amount of product. And I have the shade 110 Nude Flush. This shade in particular reminds me a lot of Dusk, the cloud paint shade from Glossier. When you initially apply this, this definitely has like a creamy sort of feeling to it, but it's actually quite lightweight. The first time I actually tried this one, I was afraid it was gonna be super pigmented and right out of the gate I was afraid it was but this actually shears out really prettily on the skin and the finish is very skin like as well so if you like a more liquidy blush but you don't want anything super dewy um, this one is a really good option it definitely shears out to that skin like finish and because it's more of a light to medium pigmentation it's also really easy to work with I typically use a sponge or just my fingers to apply this one. And you can see that it's incredibly easy to blend and it looks really natural on the skin. There are definitely some liquid or cream blush products, especially at a more affordable price, that just look very apparent on the skin. And this one looks very seamless. And that's one thing I'm always looking for in my cream blush, that it just seamlessly blends in with all the other products I already have on my face. If we're using cream products to look as natural and skin-like as possible, they have to blend nicely. And I'm really happy that this one does. Now this one isn't going to last forever on your skin because it's more of a light to medium pigmentation, but it does seamlessly fade. So it's not gonna fade in patches on the skin. So I think if you're looking for a more natural, everyday, very easy liquid blush that isn't going to look incredibly dewy on the skin, I have really, really been liking this one. And next, would it even be a cream blush video on my channel if I did not mention the Honest Beauty Cream Blushes? I have sung the praises of this product many a time because the formula is just incredibly special. You get 0.10 ounces in here for $10. I have the shades Coral Peach and Pink Peony now. That is Pink Peony and here is Coral Peach. This one's my favorite. So these are obviously um, compact cream blushes. They're actually quite pigmented, a medium to a very high pigmentation. But something awesome about these is that Right away, you wouldn't suspect that the formula would be so unique and different, but Honest Beauty has really done something special with this formula. It has quite a lot of pigmentation, so you don't need a lot of the product. You know, one of these is going to last you a very long time. The blend isn't difficult and it's not patchy at all. In fact, I think it's really difficult for this to not look good. For me, this is kind of my goof proof, my fail safe cream blush product. And that's for a few different reasons. One, this will apply effortlessly to almost any foundation. Every foundation I've ever worn this with, this really meshes well with it. And if you've already applied powder, for example, like under your eyes, and you wanted to take your blush up here, which I typically do, it's not going to look weird on top of powder. You know, some cream products and powders don't mix. This will look gorgeous on top of it. And it gives you a more natural to slightly matte finish. So it almost leaves a really pretty stained effect to the skin that looks like skin, but still adds a nice pop of color. And they last forever on the skin. I have worn one for 12 hours and still seen that like really pretty blotted look on my cheeks. Highly, highly recommend these if you have not tried them already. And next, let's talk about another new launch at the drugstore, the Maybelline Cheek Heat. These are a sheer gel cream blush. They retail for around $7.99 
and you get 0.27 ounces in here. This is the only shade that I have tried and I do like it, but I have seen like a lavender one and I'm really interested in seeing how that one would actually look and apply to the skin. So if you have tried that one, leave me a comment down below. But I have the shade Coral Ardent. These are incredibly sheer. That's something that I wasn't necessarily expecting right off the bat, but this is a very sheer product. When you apply it out onto the skin, it looks like there's quite a bit of pigmentation, but once it actually is blended out onto the skin though, it shears out very quickly to really not have a ton of pigmentation. I do think that makes this product awesome if you're someone that does not wear foundation. Or if you want, you know, someone younger just getting into makeup to try out something super sheer and very natural, I also see this being a good product for that. But this is just way too sheer for me. It doesn't give me enough pop. It's just a little bit too unnoticeable on the skin, at least for me for me to be able to justify to keep reaching for it. I do like that the formula kind of sets down to more of like a stained effect on the skin though. I think that's interesting. I just kind of wish there was more pigmentation and more oomph to the product. So for that reason, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this one. Next, let's talk about a blush product that is a total hidden gem. I think it released within the last couple of months, but it is the new Physician's Formula Natural Defense Multicolor Stick. This actually has SPF 20 in here, which is pretty interesting and I believe the whole idea of this is that it also protects against blue light. I think this formula in and of itself, the way it looks on the skin is super special. This is actually the blush that I'm wearing on my cheeks today. I have the shade Soft Pink and this retails for $11.49 and you get 0.26 ounces in here. So as I mentioned before, I don't know why more people aren't talking about this. Maybe just not enough people have tried it, but I'm telling you, I think this is a really cool formula that will suit a lot of different people. You know, with cream products, some people feel like it's just geared to those of you with dry skin like me, with a product like this that I truly feel like is suited for all skin types. You know, just like the Honest Beauty blush is as well. So this is a super soft and creamy blush stick. One thing that's really great about this is that it's creamy, but it has a little bit more of a powdery finish. It's almost like a cream to powder product, but one that you don't have to worry about not being able to blend out and and move on the skin. This has enough emollients to really blend out effortlessly on the skin, but it has that sort of powderiness that ends up looking incredibly natural. It just kind of looks lightweight as well. It doesn't look like a lot of product once it's applied to the skin. One reason I find myself reaching for this so quickly is that I can literally take the stick, apply it to my cheeks, blend it out with finger, and then I'm done. So that's one thing, you know, with cream products, when they're so easy to kind of just draw on the face, now I don't typically do that with all of these products, but when a product is just that easy and looks good every time, I always take note. It's very difficult to make this look unnatural. And I do like that it's more of a natural finish. It's not super dewy, which I don't, always want a super, super dewy cream blush look. I can wear this one with say a matte foundation and it's going to give me a really creamy look, but it's not going to add too much dew. I was definitely pleasantly surprised by this blush and I highly, highly recommend it. Now let's talk about a cream blush that I do not necessarily highly recommend, which is the Clean Fresh Cream Blush from CoverGirl. Now, back in December, when I saw that these were launching, I was so, so excited to try try out this formula and I've actually been trying the clean milk skin tint from the same line and have really been enjoying that. So I have the shade 350 flushed. This retails for $10.99 and you get a full half ounce of product. So there's definitely a good amount of product in here. This is an incredibly, incredibly pigmented product almost to a fault. And I'm not sure if some of the other shades are less pigmented. If you have some of the other shades, um, feel free to just leave me a comment down below and let me know. But this shade, at least in particular, is incredibly pigmented. Probably the most pigmented out of the products we're talking about today. You can see I have just a little bit there. That is how pigmented it is just with that little bit. That is enough for maybe two cheeks, which does make this a little bit of a more difficult product to work with. When it's so highly concentrated in such a small amount, 
with a liquid product, it does become a little bit more difficult to work with. Something interesting about this product is that it has a little bit of a metallic sort of shift to it or a finish. If you have any pores on your cheeks, it will kind of settle into them and exaggerate them a little bit. It just doesn't look as juicy and natural on the skin as I would want it to. It just looks a little bit more textured. Now on the bright side is this is one of those products that will set down and it will not budge. So if you do end up liking the way it looks on your skin, this is definitely a long wear blush that is very pigmented. So you'll definitely get a good bang for your buck, but as a whole, it just does not check all the boxes that I need in my cream blush. So I was a little bit disappointed in this launch. Now, what I think is another hidden gem from the drugstore is this cream blush from Wet n Wild. The other day I posted a picture of me playing with a cream blush on my boyfriend on my community tab. And first of all, you guys think that he has perfect skin, which he does, and I am incredibly jealous of him for that. But this looked so good on him, and all day I was just like, wow, that just looks so fresh and the color is so interesting. So this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick and this is the blush shade. There are some concealer shades and some contour shades as well. This shade in particular is called Hustle and Glow. This is around 450 and you get 0.21 ounces in here. So this is super affordable. One thing that I wasn't expecting with the packaging is that when you take off the cap and this was also the same case as the Physician's Formula, it has that sort of snap, which is awesome because you don't have to worry if you were to throw this into your bag or something, that that cap is gonna come off and product is gonna get everywhere. So I love that little attention to detail, especially with such an affordable product. This color is really, really pretty. Pretty much orange, it's more of a yellow orange color. But for some reason, when you apply it to the skin, it doesn't look as unnatural as you would expect it to. It actually ends up blending out on the skin to look really pretty. It gives a nice orange pop without it just being like, whoa, that is orange, orange. I think that sort of yellow undertone rather than like a super red undertone is definitely different. And I haven't used another blush shade quite like this one. It actually reminds me of something that like Fenty would come out with in their matchstick line. Could this be an affordable dupe? It does have a very subtle shimmer throughout it, which I normally would not like, but it's not something that I notice a lot on my skin. And it's going to blend out easily on the skin, but it's also going to look good on the skin. It's not going to exaggerate pores. It has creaminess to it, but it also doesn't remain really tacky on the skin. I was really surprised by this formula. I kind of suspected it might be a little bit more waxy or heavy, but it has more of that creamy powder finish that I think ends up looking really natural and flattering on the skin. And it also has more of a light to medium pigmentation, so that makes it even more easy to work with in my opinion. And again, this is another one of those products that you can just apply directly to the skin and tap in with a finger, which makes it really, really easy. I'm gonna apply a little bit just to the apples of my cheeks so you can kind of see. Do you see how like that just pops the skin? There are those dogs again barking. It just gives you that little bit of orange flush that I think is really natural and pretty. This is certainly a product to be on the lookout for. Next, we have the Flower Beauty Blush Bombs. Mine is in the shade Pinched. These retail for $9.99 and you get 0.3 ounces in here. I've done an entire video actually comparing these to the Glossier Cloud Paint, so I will leave that video linked down below in case you're interested, but these are an incredible formula if you want that ultra glassy dewy cheek look this to me is like one of my top picks to give you that super healthy look to your cheeks it has more of a sheer pigmentation to it it is very very dewy but but it still gives your cheeks color it's giving you the really juicy and dewy cheek look while still offering color you're not like applying it and you're waiting for the color to be there to me it's like instant glass skin whenever my skin looks dull i always tend to reach for this one because this is definitely like a fake it till you make it sort of product it doesn't look heavy on the skin it just looks like your cheeks are naturally that dewy and because this is more of a light pigmentation i think that sheer sort of translucent 
translucent quality to it is what makes it look so undetectable. It's not the most long wearing product. I get it about a six hour wear when I wear this one, but I do think that people talk very highly about this for a reason. The effect that it gives the cheeks is incredibly pretty. That product is definitely one that I highly, highly recommend. Another liquid blush that we have today is the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Dewy Blush Elixir. This is the shade Gorgeous Peach, but I have tried out Pink Berry as well. You get half an ounce in here and it retails for $13.49. Definitely a significant amount of product for the price in my opinion. And this will also give you a really dewy and fresh look to your cheeks. This to me is more pigmented than the Flower Beauty and even more dewy. Now, one thing about a product like this is that because it's more pigmented, you need less product, so you're not necessarily getting a ton of more dew than you would with the Flower Beauty because you need less with this. But this, I do think, might be the most dewy product that we're talking about today. I think if you have very dry skin that looks very dull and you are constantly looking for a cream blush that's going to blend very easily, and just kind of refreshing your makeup look and look really pretty, I think that this is a great option. And even though this is infused with oils, I don't find that it picks up any of my foundation. Again, I think this is one of my top picks for those of you with very severely dehydrated and dry skin. And here's just a little bit on the back of my hand. And you can see there, it just gives your skin such a dewy, pretty flush. I find this product to be unique because, because you might have noticed with a lot of the dewier cheek products that we've talked about, they tend to be less pigmented. So I think this is a nice formula because it has a little bit more pigmentation. It kind of stands on its own and is differentiated from the other products. I really recommend this one as well. Next we have the ColourPop Blush Sticks. And this one is my favorite. This one is in the shade Roosevelt. I've talked about this one quite a lot on my channel actually. It retails for $8 and you get 0.28 ounces in here. So the best way I can describe this formula is that if you took like a gel cream and put it into a stick form, this is kind of the formula of that. It almost has like a fluffiness to it that I think makes it very effortless to blend on the skin. If you were to just open this stick and apply it, you might think, oh, that looks pretty pigmented. It actually shears out very easily. It almost has a very subtle airbrush quality to it, but it doesn't necessarily have like a cream to powder formula. Out of all the formulas we're talking about today, this to me is like one of the most unique. I think it's very interesting. So even though it doesn't leave you with like a powder finish, it does still give you a little bit of a stained effect when you apply it to the cheeks. And this shade in particular, I think is very, very pretty, especially if you want that little bit of like a sunburnt effect. It's obviously affordable because it's in this video. It doesn't feel like affordable makeup. The formula and the color too feels very luxury to me. For some reason, this formula reminds me of something that Dior would come out with. Anyway, it's definitely a go-to when I'm going for like a sunburnt cheek look. And before I lose all sun in this video, we have one more product to talk about and it is the Can Make Cream Cheeks. This one is in the shade 05. This formula is a little bit more puffy. It's kind of like a whipped cream gel formula, but it comes in this little pan. It still has a really nice emollients to it though. Unfortunately, the shade that I picked does have glitter particles throughout it. And this one in particular does end up making my cheeks kind of look like my pores are a little bit more exaggerated. Just knowing this formula, if you can find one without the shimmer particles, this formula lasts a very long time on the skin and the blend is really nice as well. I know a ton of people that swear by these. And another nice thing about this is that it's about a medium pigmentation. So it kind of sits right in this sweet spot. It's not too sheer, it's not super pigmented. So it ends up being a little bit easier to work with. I'm kind of on the fence with this one because I haven't tried out for myself a shade without the shimmer, but I do think I'd recommend trying out some of the other shades. I will leave all the products that I mentioned today linked down below and definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up if it was super helpful. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next one.